If you look at the data with imatinib um, that was first published by the Hammersmith group, the um, incidence was somewhere around 25% of patients did not achieve a BCR-ABLE ratio less than 10% um, at three months. Um, I find it interesting that the um, data with imatinib is pretty consistent between clinical trials done over the last decade and maybe sponsored by different uh, pharmaceutical uh, sponsors. So for example, if you look at the incidence in patients um, on the NSDND trial and the imatinib control arm, 33% of them failed to achieve that uh, milestone at three months. In the decision trial, again, it was somewhere around 25% of patients failed to achieve that milestone. Um, so pretty consistent, uh, somewhere around a quarter of patients, uh, maybe as high as a third uh, in one study, will not achieve the BCR-ABLE ratio less than 10% if they're starting on a, a matinib at three months.